Today we will see uh, how to estimate uh, the missing climate data using uh, three methods. The first one is arithmetic mean method, and uh, the second one is inverse distance weighted method. And the other, the third uh, method is multiple imputation technique. So, uh, estimations of missing precipitation data for this video tutorial involve three main steps. Uh, the first step is selecting uh, stations with fewer number of missing data. Uh, the second step, uh, main step, is to arrange similar data based on day uh, or based on months. So the data uh, to be estimated for missing uh, should be uh, the same, uh, uh, should be within uh, the same month or should be the same day. Uh, the other uh, is uh, the other main step is finally to estimate the missing uh, climate data. So we have a row station. For, uh, so for this demonstration video, I have selected three uh, main stations, Station A, Station B, and Station C. Uh, as you can see, Station A is uh, with no missing data, uh, but here, Station B uh, with missing data, there is NA, around seven, seven missing uh, data are, are within September months for Station B. Uh, station C is fully uh, with uh, no missing uh, value. As you can see, the, the data is full, and uh, here, station B, uh, there is with missing data. So, uh, the first step is uh, just the first step, as you can see uh, from uh, from this uh, sheet. Uh, as you can see, uh, to select the stations with fewer number of missing data, so we need to be take uh, careful while we select missing data. So, as well as uh, as you can see, as you can see, this is. Uh, no missing data but if i have to use uh, station a i need to check the data uh, below 10 percent is missing uh, else ignore the station so 10 uh, percent of the data from this data 10 percent uh, below 10 percent should be missing or else uh, I, I i should uh, rather ignore this station a so i, I need to check uh, if the missing is available in station a uh, but here station B, I have also I have to uh, check the uh, percentage here, 10% missing value uh, below 10%. That is, if it is above 10%, uh, the data is not uh, good enough to do a data analysis. So I need to ignore uh, estimating for missing data. So in this case, uh, the number is seven. There is seven, as you can see, seven. So this equals to bracket 7 divided by uh, the numbers this is for 1981 so uh, the cell individual cell count it will yield uh, 365 so 365 minus without uh, this uh, uh, without this missing value that means uh, 365 minus 7 so close bracket finally times 100 so this value should be a less than 10 percent they are finally hitting them so 1.95 percent which is less than uh, 10 percent and uh, this is okay so i can uh, estimate this missing values because this uh, the data of this station B is uh, missing data with fewer so I have to uh, I can estimate because it's okay so the first step is to, uh, to make sure to make sure uh, to select a station with fewer numbers of uh, missing data here uh, I used uh, three station station A, B, C this is actually for demonstration purpose uh, but I uh, mostly the better results come from the uh, the more a station uh, will yield, the better approximation for missing data. So uh, it will be uh, very nice uh, to use a minimum of five station to predict a uh, missing value. So this is a fewer, this is not acceptable, uh, but this is a, a demonstration on how, how uh, I can use uh, these three methods. So uh, when you do uh, by yourself, you need to increase the numbers of station to get the better uh, value for missing data.
so the first one is arithmetic mean method so so don't forget uh, to consider here the numbers of station as well as the numbers of missing data the other is to uh, arrange similar data based on day or months so uh, as you can see from stations in order to uh, determine this missing data uh, on September that is in order to uh, calculate the missing values this I have I have to use this September months or else uh, if I use September months and uh, January months uh, from station for example from station uh, a if I use January months this is the driest uh, month which is zero value as you can see if I use uh, this as uh, to determine the missing for uh, September months which is non zero as you can see uh, the data will not be uh, good because uh, we need to uh, select September months of each station here September here September here September is also so I need to use this September months of uh, each station so I will proceed to the uh, arithmetic mean method so as you can see for station 9 months is September as you can see this is September months of 1981 year so I need to uh, select the September months as you can see this is for station A, for station B, for station C in such a way you, you need to rearrange the data which is because it's a kind of step uh, with similar data based on the elements then finally uh, uh, estimate the missing so but uh, before uh, going to uh, estimation I need to uh, say something about arithmetic mean method yeah as you can see arithmetic mean method uh, for a better estimation purpose data should be arranged with month day or year pattern so missing data is obtained by computing the uh, arithmetic average of the data corresponding to the nearest weather station this is actually the equation to uh, estimate uh, use, uh, using this arithmetic method so where v0 is the estimated values of the missing data where vi is the values of the same parameter at the highest, highest uh, nearest weather station and n is the numbers of nearest station that is for, for our case the numbers of nearest station is 2 so uh, this arithmetic mean method uh, is mostly satisfactory if the gauges are uniformly dis distributed over the area and uh, the individual gauge uh, measurement do not uh, vary greatly about the mean according to each uh, So the second uh, criteria need to be fulfilled is uh, normal annual precipitations of missing stations should be below 10% of uh, normal rainfalls of considered station. I will proceed with the available station so we, we need to uh, increase uh, those index station to get the better the best value uh, for missing data so I will proceed how uh, I can uh, estimate this value equals to bracket this one plus this one close bracket divided by 2 it is there as you can see missing value can be uh, estimated in such a way so this is a better uh, value if it is zero here zero here the value will be zero here as you can see how we can estimate using universal associated method so uh, for this method uh, we need to have a location with xy coordinate the data with a station for every station you need to have xy data so uh, the general equation can be uh, uh, this one this is the general equation uh, for using this uh, inverse distance weighted method so uh, how to calculate missing precipitation data using inverse distance weighted method uh, so the distance between two uh, station can be equated with uh, square root of x square plus y square uh, and uh, this uh, inverse distance weighted method is a better method it's because distance between stations will be taken into account and uh, mostly climate data spatially varies with distance so uh, this is a better method due to this uh, reason so now uh, I need to uh, show you how uh, I can uh, or how we can uh, estimate using this inverse distance weighted method uh, therefore the missing station is section, uh, station B so we need to uh, first uh, prepare a distance uh, between the missing station and the nearest weather uh, station so 
that is to calculate the distance between station A and station B and uh, station between station B and station C. Uh, so distance between station A and station B is this one. So uh, can be get it into this one. So the distance between station A, A and B is equal to square root of a change in Y. That means H4, H4 minus H5. Distance between this can be created a square root of x square, change in uh, y square plus change in x square uh, with the square roots. Then uh, you will get the distance between uh, a, a station A and B uh, equals to this um, amount. So the other is this is in meter, and the other is distance between uh, a station C with a missing station B. So you, uh, for this, for this uh, and such kind of problems, distance uh, from a missing station. Uh, needs to be first of all determined in such a way so from distance station C to station B uh, can be created in such a way so for this case uh, need to differ uh, between B and C here change in Y square this one minus this one the whole square plus this one minus this one the whole square then finally after assuming both uh, changes uh, need to square it uh, to get the distance between station B and C, so distance between station A and B is this one, and distance between B and uh, C is this one. So, if there is a station D, you need to uh, calculate distance between station D and station B. So, now let's proceed uh, how we can use uh, this general uh, distance with limited uh, equation. So, uh, this one is equal to here, as you can see, the submissions of. Uh, nearest weathering station divided by uh, distance uh, of weather station from the missing station so for this case double bracket so this one divided by distance from station b to station uh, a that is this one close bracket so now plus because it's a summation now open bracket the other is uh, this one divided by distance from station uh, C to B. So this is it. Now close it. The whole close divided by the summation of 1 over distance i. 1 divided by distance i, that is this one. Close bracket. So now plus plus open where uh, one divided by this one. So now close. So uh, it's enter. So uh, I need to uh, here. And this these are distance are constant so uh, only b8 and d8 will be con uh, the first the other is a constant so function f4 insert a dollar sign here it enter now drag This is uh, the final uh, inverse distance weighted missing estimation numbers as you can see. Uh, the other is multiple imputation technique. Uh, I need to proceed to multiple imputation technique. So in order to use this method you need to activate Excel stat. For me uh, I use Excel stat. You can use any other multiple uh, imputation technique or program to estimate a missing data. Therefore here I need to activate Excel stat versions of uh, this Excel, uh, yeah, now uh, this Excel stat uh, menu bar is appeared in such a way. So, click preparing data here and missing data here. Yeah, now as you can see, I need to select the data range, delete here. So, now uh, I have to include these labels of each field. So for September, I need to use only September. Yeah, this is September. Now it's okay. Click this one. This is uh, not, it's not a qualitative, this is quantitative data. 
so make sure this is quite the data type the other is estimation method you need to choose estimation the technique or method the other is remove the rows with missing data or replace by the mean the nearest neighbor nipples uh, for me i have to use this multiple imputation macrobian chain and method so click this one if each field includes the selections of this data range includes the labels of each field so you need to activate this variable field click ok here uh, there is an information 30 rows and three columns are selected included in the estimations of this method so continue uh, multiple imputation uh, method so this is the result so now i have to compare this copy make sure this is copy so click here okay here value this is multiple multiple imputation and the other is inverse distance inverse distance with it permitted the other is arithmetic mean method mean method so uh do this one copy paste here this are the data range corresponding data here so now uh, I need to see each plus so as you can see more or less inverse distance weighted method uh, is a red one and uh, the arithmetic method are most uh, similar the chart type observed here but the other multiple uh, imputation technique as you can see this one almost green line uh, varies significantly with the other estimation uh, methods but mostly uh, this inverse distance with the method is most preferable because uh, those quizzer data varies spatially so this is all about uh, today in such a way uh, we can determine the missing climate data